you nice to see you nice to see you all hope you are doing well good evening ma'am good evening good evening good evening good good very nice to see you all being so active good good evening good evening uh so i request uh, the host to please mute all the children thank you ma'am yeah so, so so that we shouldn't have any chaos in between the class so we have made it mandatory to keep you all in mute so after a while when i start asking you questions you can definitely unmute we'll give you chance to unmute to answer so first of all my first and foremost question to all of you in today's session is how many of you feel that you need to gear up your maths scorings that too with less calculation time and not knowing more multiplication tables above number 9 means you don't want to know tables beyond 9 that is you feel them so difficult to learn well and good i accept it but still you want to speed up your math calculations you want to be the super power in doing math calculations and getting good scores in math exams of course many of you would have been having that yes i already have many raised hands also good so all of you have this feeling now for that what is this class meant for and how is it related to the question which i have asked you now this master class is for all the children from class 3 to class 12 and who feel maths as a big monster because we have difficulty in calculations addition is okay subtraction a bit difficult multiplications and divisions don't ask at all ma'am it always takes time and divisions are simply out of my box so i can't do that so you feel maths as a problem because only of calculations now if that problem is solved your problem of maths phobia is also solved now you find difficulty in calculations you want to speed up your calculations why do you want to speed up because you want to compete with others in the competitive exams many of you would have been here in the olympiad programs if you want to succeed in olympiad definitely you should be able to solve your questions in the prescribed time so if you want to solve it in prescribed time you should be good in calculations you should be faster in calculations so all these problems are there apart from this you should be the one and the foremost dedicated student to conquer maths calculations a dedicated student is the one who always find ways to come out of the problems he is face he or she is face so once you come out of the maths phobia that is the calculations issue which is taking a lot of time consuming your more of paper your more stress and uh, uh, what do you call uh, pressure is because of the bigger number calculations so because of which you are not able to concentrate on the concepts all this will be solved with easy tricks and calculations which i am going to teach you now now if you want to learn such tricks give me one hour of yours before which we are gathered here in this one hour i will teach you certain tricks which can give you an example how you can come out of your difficulty of solving maths calculations which is taking you more time so you can solve your maths paper in a lesser time and you can many of the children feel many of them tell me even my students say ma'am i had no time to recheck my paper because the calculations were so lengthy the problem was so big i was calculating i have to go back to certain questions and calculate because of which i had no time to recheck my questions why is all those happening because of this lengthy calculations so those problems can be solved if you are able to solve the calculations faster 10 times 15 times 20 times faster that is in fraction of minutes hardly 10 seconds 15 seconds in the beginning okay in the very beginning stage you may feel no i couldn't solve it in 10 seconds well and good if you are able to solve it in 30 seconds pretty good by practice you will be able to solve it in 10 seconds and 15 seconds some questions even instantly orally you can do within less than 10 seconds so i will promise you today that i will make you after this one hour of master class i will promise you that you will be come out of 
the maths phobia, which you always feel it's a big monster, which you don't want to do maths. Maths exam, oh God. Because a lot of calculation. Even practicing time, you need a lot of calculation. All this will go up. You will become a superhero in front of your peers, in front of your classmates, in front of your friends, because you are able to do maths faster. Your confidence will be boosted. You'll be able to solve bigger problems orally. You can ask any of your friend in front of the class or even in the lunch break. Just give me a bigger number. I will add this. I will subtract it, multiply it. You can do much more like that. Your friends will be looking at you. I don't need to say further. So any calculation can just become a piece of cake for you because you're able to solve it in seconds. And this confidence will boost you to get higher scores in maths exams. So this is my promise for you. And first of all, before I start up anything, let me introduce you to, let me introduce you as many of you are familiar with me, but still let me introduce for who are not familiar with me. So I am Padma Priya and I have been as a maths expert in MTG Learning Media Private Limited. And I have been into teaching for regular maths, of different state boards, NCRT, I mean, uh, CBSE, ICSE, Olympiad curriculum, Vedic maths, uh, logical reasoning, all those things from past 10 years, for more than 10 years, not 10 years, for more than 10 years. And I have been served as the HOD of my department, principal, content team member for various Olympiad schools. And I have been into MTG team from past five years, supporting many programs in content making and teaching, as well as for IMO, reasoning, NTSC, JE, etc. And I have been the person to edit the 10 book series of Vedic Maths. And I have been teaching this math as an art piece so that I can unlock the confidence in various children which you feel that it's been a problem. Maths is the only subject which I'm not able to score well. If maths is easy for you, automatically you will have enough confidence to go for your higher grades in physics and chemistry, like many of you, even in bio. So there are many other categories where you feel that maths is a basic problem. All those will be solved because of your calculation issues. Now, let's see here. We all are here together since MTG has grouped up here, me as your master trainer and you as my students. So let's see about MTG. So MTG is into the field of education publications from past 41 years and more, especially in subjects of maths and science. We have been providing various study materials for kids, especially in maths and science and some other languages too, and other sub subjects too, right from grade one and to higher learning. Even we provide books for competitive circles, like if you are about to write some competitive exams for higher grades for NTSC, JE, and all the others, higher competitive levels, we provide books for this. So some of those are, we, our material includes Olympiad books, NTSC, your entrance exams for JNV, and school books. Many schools use our books, even for the regular curriculum and NTSC, uh, entrance exams like NEET and JE. So coming to today, our main thing that we want to tell about MTG is MTG is the official academic partner of Science Olympiad Foundation. That is, you all are familiar with SOF, so which conducts you Olympiad exams. We have been considered as the India's number one publisher for various competitive exams. And we have our books has been used in 70 countries across the world, right from kindergartens to class 12 and many of our test preparatory material. 60 crores of our copies have been sold so far and 1.96 schools and coaching centers are referring and using our books. 6.5 lakhs teachers use our books and they suggest our books for their students. We are proud to say this. And some sample schools. I have brought you some schools' names also who has been using our books into their curriculum from past many years. Like you can see DPS, Ryan International School, Arkets, Amity International School, DAV School. So you can see the job. The Navodaya schools is also been using our books. Kendriya Vidyalaya, KVC is also been using our books. So our books is being used in wide range for, 
for various school by various schools and our teachers many teachers who have been using are uh, successfully giving their opinions so that we are making better material to provide you better fulfill your needs and here i have some of a sample books which has been as the best sellers in amazon like you can see of course we have many other best sellers but since we are related here with perception of olympiad and uh, uh, easy maths learning so we have brought you some samples of our uh, olympiad books which is been as best sellers in amazon like you can see our workbooks of various classes our prep guides our test papers all of these been best sellers so far from past many years and we the team of mtg is proud and i am very proud to be in front of you to say that we have been chosen as the most trusted publisher by the people's choice publishers award and we have stood second in that and it's a proud moment for all of us being a team of as hard work we are able to achieve this love and affection from all of you which has given us this position in succeeding being a successful publisher and some of our two students testimonials like the students who are very happy and who felt much useful by being into our program by learning this easy math tricks so of course we have many students uh, feedbacks which has been given regarding our olympiad programs our books but the screen which you are see, able to see here this is especially given by those children who have been into our previous uh, batch for the same program as you all are here for our maths easy maths learning tricks same way all these are the children who have successfully learned those tricks and who have been applying in those in their learning and were always feel that not only feel they always see much better improvement in their maths exams than before being into this master uh, into this our program so these are some children you can see there their names is also been given here so they have been into our vedic maths program or uh, olympiad programs where they have got much more information and they have become a better scorer in maths than what they were and here are some most reputed teachers around the country who have been using our books in their teaching and who refer our books for those for their children for a better learning and for better scoring and today okay i have given you all the introduction of why are you here what am i going to tell you at the end of the class what's going to happen who am i what's mtg and how are we together all this has been discussed but after all this we are here to discuss certain examples i give you certain tricks which can make you all feel that calculations is no way difficult from here on i'll teach you some basic 3 to 5 tricks today by which any question of the same sort hereafter you can solve it orally i promise you for that you don't need lot of practice for it hardly the 15 to 20 minutes which i am going to teach you if you are properly attentive if you are a dedicated student definitely you will be attentive and you will easily learn those tricks and you can apply after the master class you can try by own numbers of yourself you can see the change that you are able to solve all those problems oral so let's start okay here comes my first so okay fine fine good that's good you people ah uh, that's good many of your other schools i have got messages that many other schools have also been using our books that's good to see we are happy with that so here comes my first trick my first trick let me start with subtraction many of you would have been having a problem with subtraction of numbers especially when it is a borrowing numbers like for example just like we write out one simple number now if you have a question like so on an average how much time would you take uh, take to solve this question please send me your answers in the chat box i would like to see how many of you would take how many minutes or how many seconds would you take to solve this question for suppose if this is a question because it's all of borrowing okay okay good good 15 seconds good 
30 seconds, one minute, good, 45 seconds, 50 seconds, no problem. So something like this. Now, what if, if, I, if I tell you that you can solve this question orally? I'll make you to solve this. Okay, first, let's see. First, I'll give you a question on the screen. Now, after giving the question, I would like to see all your answers for that on the chat box. Here's a question and let me see who will send me the answer. Okay, so it's been more than 15 to 20 seconds. I couldn't get any answer. First answer, yes, I started getting my answers. Okay, okay. My first right answer was from... Sajidul. Uh, sorry, dear, if I'm pronouncing you wrong. Uh, sorry, you were the first person to give me the answer. Okay, okay. Uh, but unfortunately, a few were wrong answers and all the rest were right. Very good. More than 80% of the answers which have been sent to me were all right. Okay, uh, some you may have a doubt you have been sending the answers to the host. Please send the answers to the co-host. It's been named as Padma Priya. Please send me the answers. Okay, fine. Pretty good. Pretty good. I could see many answers. Very nice. I've already got more than 60 to 70 answers. It's a good response. Uh, I think many would have sent to the host also. I'm sure of it. So please resend it to me. Well and good. So it's been more than 15 seconds for everyone to send this. Now, what if, if I say, if you are, you'll be able to solve this question orally without any pen and paper? First, what would you have done? You would have noted the question on the paper. Then you have started solving by borrowing. But now firstly, let's check your answer. Here is your answer. 43987. So you are subtracting 1 followed by 5 zeros minus 56013. This is the number. And on subtracting, you'll get your answer as 43987. Okay. Now I said I will teach you how to solve this orally without pen and paper. Now let's see. Now, first of all, when you want to solve this question, the first and the foremost thing that you need to check is, see how many zeros are there here. The same number of digits should be here. The first digit is one, obviously. The first and that is the leftmost digit should be one. Later, you are supposed to check how many digits are here. The same, I mean, how many zeros are here. Same number of digits should be there. Here, five zeros are there. So here, five digits are there. So pretty good. Now, what are you supposed to do? Forget about this number completely. You need not think about it. Okay? You need not think about it. Just look at this number. What is the number? 56013. Now, in this, other than the last digit, all the rest of digit, each of it, you should subtract from 9. 9 minus 5, 4. 9 minus 6, 3. 9 minus 0, 9. 9 minus 1, 8. And the last you are supposed to subtract from 10, 10 minus 3, 7. 4, 3, 9, 8, 7. Isn't this pretty easy? So you just need to look for the simple thing. What is that? Number of zeros should be same as the number of digits. After that, the simple thing that you need to do. Every digit you should subtract from 9. Subtraction from 9 is not a bigger thing. Why is it 9 and how, why is it from 10? Those we will discuss in our main course, not in the master class. Because it takes time. Our master class is to tell you how can things become easy. Not to discuss the complete topic. Hope you understand. We have time constraint. So all the digits you are supposed to subtract from 9, except the rightmost, which you should subtract from 10. That if you do, because subtraction from 9 is oral to you. So obviously you can subtract all the digits from 9 and you can see the answer. Okay. So see the trick here. 9 minus 5 we should do. 9 minus 6. 9 minus 0. 9 minus 1. And last, 
10 minus 3. This gives you your answer. That vertical line, this line is just a partition between the digits. This is just to say that this is just a partition between the digits. So this digit is separate, this digit is separate. So it's just a gap to show that those digits are separate, nothing else. So that's not something different. So likewise, you can do these problems orally whenever you are doing such subtractions. Before, you need to note it, you need to borrow it, then you need to subtract. But instead, it's pretty easy now. So I'll give you one more question. Let me see who will send me the instant answers. If you have understood this trick, this, this upcoming question, you will not solve it on the pen. You will directly start solving it in the chat box. Let me see how many of you will give me the answer faster. Here is it. <coughs> okay, meanwhile, I would like to someone to unmute. Uh, I'll call up the person. Uh, I would request the host to unmute so that I can ask the student to answer it orally. Yes. Okay. There are some raise hands who are interested to solve it. I have Sanaya here. Ma'am, please unmute Sanaya. Yes. So, Sanaya, please unmute yourself. Sanaya, are you able to unmute here? Yes. Hi, Sanaya. How mm -hmm. are you? Ma'am, very good. Which class do you study, Sanaya? Two. Class two. Who is there with you? Mama or Papa? Father. Okay, good. Now, do you feel subtraction is easy or difficult? Easy. Easy? Very good. So, were you able to, will you be able to solve this question which is on the screen? Yes, ma'am. Okay, orally? Okay. Shall I help you out? Yes, ma'am. Okay, fine. What is the trick I said? What all digits are there? You are supposed to subtract each of this from 9. And the last one you are supposed to subtract from 10, I say. Correct? Now start subtracting. 3 if you subtract from 9, what do you get? 6. 2 if you subtract from 9? 7. 9 minus 7? 2. 9 minus 4? 5. 9 minus 1? 8. 10 minus 8? 2. Good. Very nice. So what's the answer? 6, 7, 2, 5, 8, 2. So were you able to solve it orally, Sanaya? Yes, ma'am. What did we do? We just did simple logic. What was that? All the digits, every digit we subtracted from 9 except the last one. The last digit we subtracted from 10. So class 2, Sanaya, is able to do this question orally. Of course, it's the first time she's solving. She could be nervous or she could be, she's too young, whatever it is. But when she is able to solve it orally, of course, everyone in the class can solve it orally. And it's a pretty good response. I could see uh, nearly 90 plus responses for this question. And, and it's very good to see that within five seconds, I was able to get answers for this. Many answers were less than 10 seconds. Of course, it could be taking time for typing also. I accept it. Very good, our responses. So here comes the answer. 6, 7, 2, 5, 8, 2. Easy number. Okay. Now I would like to request many or video, many videos are off. Let me see whose videos are on. I would, I would like to call up. So I have Vihan here. You mean me? Yes, Vihan. Here is your question. Can you tell the answer for this orally? Yeah. Hmm. So 9 minus 8 is 1. Mm -hmm. uh, what the heck is 9 minus 6? 9 minus 6 is 3. Mm -hmm. 9 minus 1 is Be eight. careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Okay, fine. I would help you up. I'll give you a clue how to solve this. This question you are supposed to see. I said all the digits you are supposed to check. Only the zero shouldn't be there. Here, other than this zero, you're supposed to look at this. This zero oh. will be as it is. The zero will come as it is. 
for the rest of three digits, mm -hmm. you should use the logic. Yes. Thank you for the thank you for the clues, ma'am. So nine minus six is one. Nine minus six is three. And and ten minus one is nine. So pretty easy. Pretty easy. Yes. So <laughs> I've got many answers also. And this question you are supposed to solve in the same way as the rule. As I've said, but only thing is, if the ending digits are going with zeros, those zeros as it is, you copy. Now, for suppose if you have a question like, this is the question. Here we have five zeros. Here there are five digits, but the last two are zeros. So just copy those two zeros as it is. And for the rest of three, apply the logic. Nine minus six, three, nine minus nine, zero, 10 minus eight, two. Okay. Yes. All right. By the time I wrote here, I could get my responses in the chat box. That was good. Okay. So, yes. Uh, you need to copy the zeros as it is. Yes, dear. You have to copy. If you have zeros at the ending, you are supposed to copy it as it is. Okay. So I can see many students have responded. Let's uh, let's do a small quiz on this trick. So it's of just three questions. I hope all of you will be able to do it quickly in your minds. I'm just uh, launching it. And the answers for the quiz, you can give it there itself. You need not send it in the chat box. Okay. Yes. So it will be there for only 50 seconds. I want all students to answer their questions in this uh, 50 second only. Okay. And I uh, would like to see how many students have practiced and they have grasped it. Okay, so I'm going to share the results. Okay, I'm relaunching. I think it was closed early. Yeah, so students, you have time. Just for 30 seconds. So I hope students can see the correct answers on their screen as well. Uh, Ma'am, many were saying that they couldn't receive the questions. Okay, okay. Just give me one minute and we'll launch it. Yeah, please go ahead. Okay. Yeah, 50 seconds are over. Five, four, three, two, one. So let's see. So 63 students have participated and you can see the results on their screen. Okay, so let's go to the next trick. Okay, yeah. so that was a good response. Many were you able to solve it and sorry that many are still not able to get the quiz. Uh, so please try to attempt it. 
so that you can have a practice how easy is the trick and how are you able to do yes yes it happens it happens so because it's the first time it happens so no problem you can make it better uh, it's good it's good that's fine that's fine so it happens with certain times certain times you may feel the number is big that uh, psychological feeling the number is going big it happens but by constant practice you'll be able to do it that's good that's good but you are able to solve it in less than 50 seconds three questions that's a great thing that's good now coming to the second trick so now we have a second trick here so now here we have a question 26 into 11 so when you are multiplying a number with 11 how can we make it oral of course you can say ma'am i'll write 26 below that i'll leave one place and again i'll write 26 i'd add up so it takes more than 10 to 15 seconds but i can give you the answer orally i will teach you how can you make it oral let's see let's see yes i could get the responses very good but let's see how can we make it oral yes yes i understood i understood so the simple thing that you need to do is write the first digit as it is, the second digit as it is. In between, you are supposed to write the sum of these two digits, which is 2 plus 6, 8, which is an oral answer. Now, for suppose if you are multiplying 35 with 11, so 3 and 5 will be as it is, 3 plus 5, 8 will be in between. So it's a pretty easy technique where you can solve out orally any multiplication problem when you are doing with 11. Okay. Let's see. This is only for 11? Yes. There are many other tricks also for when you have one form. There are many other. We will learn it in the course. Because of time constraint, we can't take up all the complete set of tricks. So we have just brought a sample set. This is meant only for 11. Okay, here is answer. Yes, many of you are right. It is 2, 8, 6. So what is it done? 2 and 8 and in between the sum of 2 and 8, which is uh, 2 and 6, which is 8 is written. So 286 is the answer for this. Okay, now I have another question of the same type. Let me see who will give the answer oral and let me call up someone to answer this. Okay. Shaurya. Ma'am, please unmute Shaurya. Yeah. Shaurya, please unmute. Yes. Okay. Ma Here is your question, Shaurya. 81 into 11. Ma'am, 891. Very good. Very good. That was an instant response. Very good, Shaurya. I appreciate you. Which class are you, Shaurya? Ma'am, fifth, ma'am. Very good. Very good. That was a very good response, Shaurya. Perfect. So this is how, yes, I could see more than 60 answers in my chat box. It is 8 and 1 at the ends in between 8 plus 1, 9. 891 is a simple answer. Yes, I will tell you. I will tell you. So what if, if you have three digits, that also I'll tell you. Just give me a minute. Let's finish one more example. Okay, I have here uh, Ashmi. 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 Can you unmute here? Ma'am, please unmute Ashmi. Yeah. Hi, Ashmi. Which class are you? Ma'am, I'm class 3. Class 3. So here is a question. Try to solve it orally, Ashmi. 53 into 11. Ma'am, hmm? 583. Very good. Very good. It's 583. Perfect. Perfect. Beautiful, Ashmi. So it's been pretty easy that 5 and 3 are at the ends. And 8, the sum of it is in between. Okay, okay, very good. And some of you had a doubt. What if, if it is a three-digit number or four-digit number multiplied with 11? Okay, I will tell you. I will tell you. I'll just give you one small extension of this. Now, see here. For suppose, if you are multiplying uh, 327 with 11, let us think. This also could be done orally. What are you supposed to do? How many ones are there here? Two ones. So your first and the last will be as it is. Three and the last is seven. This will be as it is. This is fixed. And in between, what are you supposed to do? You are supposed to make two two digits sum. Three plus two. You should make it. It's five. And then two plus seven. You should make it. It is nine. 
So 3597 is your answer. Again, I tell you with one more example. Now, for suppose if you are adding a number called 172, if you are multiplying a number called 172 with 11, as it is, 1 and 2 will be at the end. 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus 2, sorry, 7 plus 2 is 9. See, you can make it orally. Why do we need a pen and paper to solve this question? Two, two digits, because there are two ones, you are supposed to take two, two digits and then solve it. Okay, and you should always pair it, the digit with its next digit on. Be careful, you are supposed to pair every digit with its next. One I paired with seven and made eight. Seven I paired with two and made it nine. This way. So this is a pretty easy way that you can solve it. Okay, so let's see. Here's a quiz for you on the same. And please, you can give the quiz. Yes, I hope the quiz is visible to all. Yes, please attempt it. Okay, so I have stopped it now. I hope you can see it on the screen, the results. Yeah, majority of uh, students have given the right answers. Yes, it's been more than 80 to 90 percent been answering. Very good. That's a good response. Okay, so let's go to the next trick. So, yes, some of you had a queries. What if, if the number was big? What if, if the number had more than once? Yes, of course, I understand your curiosity, but all couldn't be covered in one particular class. If I start saying answers for all these sort of questions, what about our rest tricks? So that we will study in our main course. As if now, this is just a sample to tell you that how can your maths calculations become easier. So here comes our third trick. And here is now how to multiply a number with itself when it is ending with 5. Like 75, I'm multiplying with 75 only, but the number is ending in 5. It's ending in 5. So when you want to do this question, this also could be done orally. You don't need any pen paper to solve this. You can do it orally. How can we do it? Let us see. Now here comes the question. Whatever the ending digit is, 5, this is the whatever the number it is. What The ending digit should must and be for 5. So your answer will end in 25 for sure. And the leftover digit in the number is obviously 7. This 7, you are supposed to multiply with its next number. What is the after number of 7? Obviously 8. So 7, you should multiply with 8, which is 56. That's it. Your answer is 5625 pretty easy like for example if you are multiplying a number 25 with 25 so your end part of the answer is 25 2 you are supposed to multiply with 3 you'll get 6 
So where you don't need to remember multiplication of a number with itself, like which you call it as squares in the higher grades, you need not remember that. If you remember square still nine, that's more than enough. So this trick is also so easy that you can solve a number multiplication when it is ending with five with itself like this. So here comes the trick. So seven is multiplied with its next digit, which is eight. Or seven is multiplied with its after number eight, which is 56 and followed by 25 because five into five is 25. This is how we solve it. So for the question, I'll explain it again, no problem. Whatever the number you are looking for multiplication, here you are multiplying the number with itself. Like if you are multiplying 15 with 15, if you are multiplying 35 with 35, if you are multiplying 105 with 105, this trick is applied for such numbers. And in all these cases, the number is ending in 5. So your answer for sure will end in 5. So it will end in 25. Okay. And what is a simple thing that you need to do is whatever the leftover digit, apart from 5, 5 is already finished. Apart from 5, what is there? 1. 1 you should multiply with its next number, which is 2. 1 into 2 is same way here also your answer will end in 25 and 3's next digit is 4. Multiply with 4, you will get 12. And here your answer will end in 5. And apart from 5, what is left over here? 10. 10's next number is 11. 10 if you multiply with 11, you will get the answer. So your calculations become oral when you know such tricks. These are just samples. So here is a question I would like to call someone to answer. Uh, let me see. There are many raised hands. Good to see that. So I would like to call. Good, good. Please down your hands because I mean uh, physically many of you are raising hands. Don't uh, pressure up your hands. I would like to call you because I, I'm very sorry that I will not be able to give chance for all of this because but I uh, hope you understand. Jay. Uh, Ma'am, please unmute Jay. Ma'am. Um, Hi, Jay. Yes, Which class are you? I'm um, sixth. Sixth class. So here is a question. Try to answer it orally. Ma'am, it's uh, 11025. Very good. 11025 because the number is ending in 5. You'll write 25 at the end, obviously. And... 10 multiplied with 11 is 11025. Perfect. 10 with 11 you should multiply is 110 and the ending is 25. Very good. That's a pretty good right answer, Jai. Good. And I have got many responses also. Very nice to see that. And here comes the next question. So I would like to call upon Som. Hi, Som. Which class are you? Please on your camera. Yes, Mr. Which class are you? You are not audible to me. Okay, I would like to call up someone else. Please check your connection, dear. Uh, I have Dhara. Hi, Dhara. Okay, Dhara is not able to yes, answer. Hi, Dhara. How are you? Which class are you? I am five. Ma'am, second. Second class, okay. You know what is 5 into 5? 10. 5 into 5, 10. <laughs> okay, fine. As I've said, these tricks will be useful only if you know multiplication tables till 9. So, Dara is too young to know multiplication tables till 9. So, let's move on with someone else. So, Aryan. Hi, Aryan. <laughs> Hello. Aryan, which class are you? Ma'am, eight. Okay, good. Here goes a question for you. Please try to answer it orally. Yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, it's uh, 99 and 025. Are you sure? Double 025. Yes, 990025. Perfect. That was the right yes, answer. Very good. Because 99, you are supposed to multiply with its next number, that is 100, that is 
two five. Perfect. That was right. So it's two zeros. Yes, yes. You are right. You are right. It's two zeros. So hope this is also a pretty easy trick because the number is ending in five. You are multiplying it with itself. You are supposed to just multiply other than five, whatever is left over that you are supposed to multiply with its next number. You may feel, ma'am, the numbers which you have chosen is easy. Now, what if, if I have a number 12 into 13? Now, if you want to find, for example, you may get a doubt. Ma'am, if you want to, yes, I understand. I understand. I, I, I am just telling you the same from the chat box. So, if you want to do one second, one second. One second, please. Mom, please let me out of the class. My system got hanged. Uh, okay. I'd like Just to see mine. Yeah, sure. It. Yes. So, ma'am, you can post the poll for this question. Yes, I'm just sharing the quiz. Yes. So, students, be ready to solve questions which you have just learned. Now it's ready. Please go ahead. Okay, so last 10 seconds. Right. Okay, so I'm ending the quiz now. Yes, and now you can see the results on your screen. Yes, that was a good response. So more than 80% students have answered correctly. Yes, more than 85%. So now here comes a big problem. Many of you feel such bigger multiplications are difficult. What if, if I'm multiplying a number with all nine forms? Like you can see, four, six, seven, one, three is multiplied with nine, which is repeated for five times. How to do this question? So definitely, I tell you, many of you will not be able to solve this question in less than 30 seconds. Definitely, you can't. If you do your regular maths multiplication method. Because you need to write all the multiplication with 9, put them down one by one, add them, ca carry forward your addition values, then solve it to give the right answer. The faster student also definitely need more than 20 to 25 seconds. Now, what if we are able to solve this question orally? Yes, we can. Yes, 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 of course, yes. You got me right. You, we can solve this orally. How can we solve it orally? Let us check. Okay, so if we want to solve this orally, and many of, yes, that was also a good question. Some of you had a doubt. Ma'am, is it necessary to learn a trick for every different type of problem? No. The trick once you learn is not that you will be learning or using it only for that particular cases. Now, for example, this is only one such question. Like, for example, in the beginning, in the first trick, I have showed you how to do the subtraction of the digits where all digits except the last one is subtracted from 9 and the last is subtracted from 10. Correct? Same trick we will use in this also with a slight extension. 
how is that let us see now here for suppose i will tell you yes i got your answers that's good still many are sending and i have seen that your answers have come to me after more than 30 seconds after i revealed uh, reveal the question now comes here how to do this oral now first check how many digits are here that many nines are there are of course here there are five digits four six seven one three is five digit number and there are five nines it's a pretty good same thing now the concept is you have two parts in your answer you have two parts in your answer the first part of your answer is subtract one from this four six seven one two this is a simple subtraction i think many could do you're just writing the before number and the second part of the answer you are supposed to do the same which we used in the first trick subtract all the digits from nine except the last one when you start subtracting what will you get here nine minus four five nine minus six three nine minus seven two nine minus one eight ten minus three seven so your answer is four six seven one two five three two eight seven see such a bigger answer if you are able to solve it orally isn't that something amazing yes yes the answers are right yes 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 thank you thank you so happy to know that you are able to solve this easily yes i'll give you more examples i'll give you one so now first suppose let's see with a smaller number i'll tell you with smaller number because there are kids of smaller classes also. Now, for suppose, if you want to multiply, I mean, if you want to multiply a number called 385 with 999. As I've said, the first part of the answer is minus 1 from this, 384. And the second part of the answer is 9 minus 3, 6, 9 minus 8, 1, 10 minus 5, 5. See? Your first part is just to subtract from 1 from the number and write as it is. And the second part of the answer is all the digits except the last one subtract from 9 each and the last subtract from 10. Yes, thank you, thank you. You are able to solve it so easy. Good. Okay, you can solve any number but only the condition is how many digits the number has that many 9 should be there in that number also. Okay, here comes a question. So let's see first what's the trick explanation on the screen. Then I'll give you the question. Be ready. Let's see who is being interested to solve this answer. Upcoming question. So as I've said, subtract one from the number will be one part of the answer. And subtracting using all digits from nine except the last from ten is the second part of the answer. We'll give you the final answer. Okay. So here is the next question. Okay, there are many raise hands. Manas. Hi, Manas. And please. please I... Hi, Manas. Hi, Manas. Which, Which class are you? Not able to unmute. You are unmuted. unmute. Manas, you are unmuted. Please unmute. Uh, Ma'am, I'm of class six. Okay. okay. Here's your question. Try to answer. Don't, Don't be nervous. Please, please, cool. I could, I could see a lot of nervous. Please, please, please. Okay, okay I, help I help you. What, what is, is the before of 87? What, ma'am? What, what name? When you, you subtract one, 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 you are able to answer it orally, but just you were nervous. That happens. It happens for the first time. That's pretty good. But where you are in need of solving a three by three digit number multiplication with a pen and paper, you are able to solve it orally. It's a pretty good thing. 
So this is how you can make out your multiplications easier with learning math tricks when your calculation time. Now, for suppose, as if now till this four tricks, we have learned around some 10 to 12 questions we have solved. Now, without knowing these tricks, if all these 12 questions were given to you, many would have taken at least 10 to 12 minutes to solve this. If you are in higher grades, hardly seven to eight minutes. But all this learning, I mean, after learning these tricks, all these questions could be solved in less than two minutes. How easy and how good is that? Which simply exemplifies that how you can fast up your calculations with a simple sample examples in the master class when you are able to master calculations of bigger numbers, which takes 10 to 12 minutes in a matter of two to three minutes, see how much faster you are able to solve them. What if, if you learn many such tricks? Is there anyone to beat your math score? I don't think so. Yes. Sanaya being in class two is very confident. Very good, Sanaya. Good to see that. Okay, here's the next question. I would like to give this uh, Sajidul. Sorry, dear, if I'm pronouncing you wrong, ma'am, please unmute him. Please tell me how should I pronounce you? Miss, it is Sajidul. It's okay. Sajidul, yes. Am I right? Okay. Fine. Please, which class are you, dear? Uh, class four. Class four. So, will you be able to answer this question orally? Let's see. I, okay, okay. let's yes, we'll try. Please. Yes. Uh, 617 billion. No, no, no. Don't try. Don't try that. Don't try that. When you are solving bigger values, never try to read the number. You read it as digits. Oh, okay. 617940 and then 3882058058. Eight zero five eight. Miss, I'm saying zero five eight. Can you hear me? Oh, sorry, Miss. <laughs> I can hear you. I'm looking at you. You have someone by your side. I do do that. I'm just waiting because you're going wrong with your last digit because you're subtracting it from nine. It should be from ten. Okay. Okay, Miss. Fine. Sorry, That's I fine. forgot. That's fine. It's good. It's good. It's pretty good. So it's nice to see that you are so confident in answering the rest digits. It happens. You had a slight hesitation because it's the first time. So it happens. So that's pretty good. Okay, miss. So it's good. Yeah, yeah. Fine. That was good answer, Sajidul. Very nice to see your response. So yes, I could get many right answers also. So yes, absolutely perfect. Your answer was right. So you need to subtract the number from one. As it is, will be the first part of the answer. And the second part, using the trick. You need to subtract all the digits from 9 except the last from the 10. So here comes your answer. Yes, ma'am, you can yes. go with the quiz of this. Yes, yes. So students, please uh, attempt the quiz that I have shared on the screen. Okay, last 20 seconds are left. Okay. Right, hurry up, hurry up students. I'm just closing this quiz now. Yes, yeah. thank you, thank you, thank you yes. that it's happy to see that many are saying that you are able to learn good tricks and able to solve them so easily. I'm very happy to see all your uh, feedbacks in the chat box. Okay, okay, great. 
Okay, so I can see more than 70-80% students are participating in the quiz. That's great. So that means they are trying their level best to solve these questions, right? So let's go to the next trick that Priya ma'am is going to tell you. We have the last trick of the day comes here. Now some are having a doubt. Ma'am, what if if there are unsquaring cubing because there are some children of higher grades. So I have been telling you tricks on uh, subtraction, multiplication, all those things only. So yes, here is a trick for you. Now let's see a small sample on how to square numbers. Squaring numbers is nothing but multiplying a number with itself. Now, for example, if you have five into five, we call it as five square. If you have uh, 19 into 19, we call it as 19 square. That is, we are multiplying a number with itself. So that is called squaring. Now, what if, if you want to square a number called 107 into 107? Now, how to solve this? So, of course, squaring hardly, even in higher grades, many would have been remembering squares of numbers till 25 only. After that, definitely you need pen and paper to solve it. But from now onwards, I tell you, don't remember squares till 25. Remember it till only till 9. That's more than enough. So let's see how to solve this question just by remembering squares till 9. So here is it. Whatever your number is, first see, when you want to solve these type of questions, you should have a basic knowledge of powers of 10, like 10, 100, 1000, 10,000. These are called as powers of 10. So these numbers... You should have a basic idea. Of course, all of you know this numbers 10, 100,000, 10,000, lakh, 1 lakh, 10 lakhs. Yes. So all of you are familiar with this. I understand that. Now, the first and the foremost thing that you need to look is, now the list of numbers which I have said, every number will be closer to one of those. Like you can see, this number is closer to 100. This number is closer to 100. So how much is more than 100? Obviously, 7 more you have. So that extra 7 you should add to the number itself. Whatever your number is, I said the closer to this is 100. Whatever the extra 7 is there, that extra 7 you should add to this number as it is. So it becomes 114. This is the first part of your answer. And your second part of your answer is what is that extra value 7? That you should multiply with itself and write it out. That's it. So again, it's an oral answer. Now, for suppose if I want to make a multiplication of 109 whole square, that is, I'm doing 109 into 109. So, how will I do it? So, I can orally answer it. So, 109 plus 9 is 118 and 9 square is 81. That's it. So, whatever the excess part is there, because 100 is a closer base number. So for that, how much excess is there? 9 is excess. That excess part, that is the extra part you are supposed to add to the number as it is. And that extra part, the square, you should do. 9 square is 81. So this is how you can solve the squares of numbers very easy. Yes, yes, I will. I will again. I will again. See here. Now, for suppose if you have a number called 108 whole square, you are doing how can you do it? I said you have a list of base numbers like 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 like that. Now, the nearest number to this is 100. How much extra is there than 100 here? Obviously, 8 because 100 plus 8 is 108. This 8 is the extra value than our uh, basic level value 100. So, that 8 you should add for this number. Whatever number is there for that, that extra part you should add. The rest part is the extra part, you should multiply with itself. So 108 plus 8 is 116. 8 into 8 is 60. Okay. So this you can do for bigger numbers also. Like for example, if you have, you can do it for smaller numbers also. I said learn squares only till 9, not beyond that. Now for suppose if you want to do a number called 13 square, that is 13 into 13. So what is the closer basic number value for this 10? So the extra part is 3. So for 13, add 3. And the rest part of the answer is 3 into 3. 13 plus 3 is 16. 3 into 3 is 9. 1, 6, 9. So you can apply it for bigger numbers. You can apply it for smaller numbers as well. Okay. So let's see the trick on screen. So here is it. 
whatever the excess part is there, that 7 we are adding for the number and that 7 we are multiplying with itself. So 107 plus 7 is 114 followed by 49. <coughs> so here is an expression of the same sort. So let me call out someone to solve this. I have here with me Preeti. Please unmute Preeti. Hi, Preeti. Okay. Which class are you, dear? Yeah, just give me one minute. I'm unmuting now. Hello, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening, dear. Which class are you, dear? I'm um, uh, grade 8. Grade 8. So here is a question. Okay, this is a pretty easy question. Uh, Preeti, keep yourself hold, but please do not speak. Let me give it to some other smaller stu uh, stu student of smaller class. It's a pretty smaller question for grade 8. I'll give you a bigger number. So let yeah. me see any even smaller here. Inga, grades. I think uh, Mayuk. Hi, Mayuk. One minute. Uh, let me find him. Yeah, got it. Good Hi, evening. Michael. Good evening, dear. Which class are you? Uh, class sixth. Your class six. Okay, fine. So, do you know squares of numbers, Mayuk? Uh, excuse me. Do you know squaring of numbers? Uh, yes. Yes. So, thirteen square. Are you familiar with? Uh, yes, it's 169. Okay, 169. So, how can we apply it using the technique? The trick which I've said, can you just explain me? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. So, the nearest uh, tenth uh, power to 13 is 10. Very good. Uh, so, we add, so the extra number is 3. Excellent. We add 3 to 13, which Excellent. is 16. And and then we multiply the extra number, which is three, three it by is itself. Good. So it's nine. So the answer is one sixty nine. Excellent, Mayuk. Beautifully, you have explained. Thank you, ma'am. It's a great, good thing you have understood the trick and you have explained it also beautifully to me and to the rest class. I appreciate you for that. So here is the answer. 13 plus 3 is 16, followed by 3 into 3, 9, gives you the answer, 169. So thank you, Mayuk. Thanks for your explanation. And here, I think it was Preeti who was given the question. Let's see if there is a bigger number for Preeti. Yes, Preeti, here is your number. Please try. Okay, uh, let me unmute Preeti. So yes, please. Preeti, yeah. Yes, ma'am. What is the so, nearest base number for this year? I'm thousand. Excellent. So start going with your answer. Firstly, we uh, we will add the uh, eleven as it is extra number. Mm -hmm. so it will be one zero two two. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, then uh, we will multiply uh, eleven into eleven, ma'am. What is the answer for it? Ma'am, one hundred uh, one hundred uh, twenty one. That's it. So one zero two two one two one is answer. Answer for this. So you may feel, ma'am, you said you need not learn squares more than nine. But here, Preeti is using eleven square. How can is that possible? That means Preeti need to remember eleven square. No, why do remember eleven square? Eleven square. When you want to do the right part of the answer as eleven into eleven, why can't we use the same trick again? The same trick, yes. use, isn't it? So, because 11 plus 1 is 12 and 1 into yes. 1 is 1. So, the same trick is again used in the second part of the answer. So, yes, as I said, you need not learn multiplication tables beyond 9. You need not remember squares beyond 9. You need not remember cubes beyond 9. So, it's not that tricks which are meant only for addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. You have many more tricks on squares. You'll be amazed to know that. You have tricks on square roots, cube roots, how to yes. convert numbers to rational irrational forms. You have much more like that. Where if you want to find a square root for a bigger number, you need a big process. But there are many tricks which can make it be solved in two to three lines. Of course. It's all those tricks will not be solved orally. Certain tricks need two to three lines of solving because when you go for higher learning, you get higher calculation. 
So we have many such tricks which can make up things easier. Finding out a square root for a five to six digit number takes at least, even for a good practice, it student needs one to two minutes because you need to draw the steps, do the long divisions and all those things. But when you're able to solve it in two lines, just by knowing multiplication table still nine, wasn't that a great thing? So these were the things, ma'am. Please uh, give the po uh, poll for the last question, last trick. Okay, so I have just shared the quiz. So students, please attempt it. Uh, I can understand this is this quiz is for a square. So small it's for children, higher grade. It's yeah, for it's for higher grade. grade. All right, the last 10 seconds. Okay, so I'm just closing this quiz now. It was amazing to see that the last number, which was a bigger one, it was being solved by more than 75% of the children along with the rest questions in less than a minute. It's amazing. It's amazing. So that was a great attempt. So that's a beautiful response. So good to see that all of you have been responding well. So I hope many of you would have found these tricks being more interesting. Please raise your hands if you have felt these in tricks interesting and if you are interested in learning much more that was a great response yes thank you thank you your hand raise shows how you have felt with the yes 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 thank you thank you how you have been responding for the tricks yes if you want to learn more such tricks and if you want enough practice yes i understand learning two questions or doing three questions is not of enough practice you need more practice for such things so, but as if, as I've been telling you from right from the beginning, we have a time constraint that I couldn't tell you various cases of each trick and various other methods of solving those. And you'll be amazed to know that all these tricks are nothing from the concepts are the sutras from Vedic maths. This was the master class which is being designed to make you know how easy is it to apply Vedic maths in your maths learn. Many feel Vedic maths is a separate maths. We need to do a separate course. No. Vedic maths is something which makes your calculations pretty easy. Many times oral or at least within a fraction of minutes you'll be able to solve it without using any pen and paper. Most of the cases. If at all, if you are needing for higher calculations, hardly in two to three lines, you'll be able to solve all those things. So these are the tricks which you have been understanding are from Vedic Maths. And Vedic Maths is not all about learning Sanskrit sutras, reciting them, learning them, applying them, nothing. I will teach you Vedic Maths techniques just in your simple maths language in a simple way. As if I have taught you now this five set of tricks. So Vedic Maths is always helpful. So now you have two choices. One is you can learn and make maths easy for yourself. Or you can take the guidance of a proper mentor who can guide you with a proper systematic way that you can succeed much faster and better than others. One way that you choose for yourself is, yes, you may say, oh, this is all Vedic maths. I can search it on internet. 
I can find much videos on it. There are many recordings. There are much more sources available, books available. Very good. Pretty good. I appreciate you if you are able to independently do this. But you come across many obstacles. You may not know what question to solve in what method. You will not have an idea of, for example, if you want to search something in Google or in any other source of searching site, you just need to know what are you about to search for properly. Now, for example, someone said, ask me a question. What if, if a number is more than three, two digits or three digits in 11 in the case of 11? What if, if there are more than two ones in the case of 11? Now, there is another question someone asked me. Ma'am, you have multiplied a five-digit number with a number followed with five nines. What if, if the number has less number of digits? What if, if the number have more number of uh, digits than nines? So there are many cases. How will you be able to search when you, you can't something, uh, search something which you don't even know? So your search will not be that easy. If at all, if you search one particular concept, you will be getting only the information of that, that or not in a proper practicable way. They give you certain examples. You may feel some other difficulties by taking up your own examples. So all those problems can be solved only when you have the guidance of a proper mentor. That is, if you come into my way. So there are many advantages. The first and the foremost thing is you will have live interactive sessions where I'll be in front of you. I'll be clearing all your doubts. I will take the in charge of your learning where I can promise you that you'll be a much better person, much better scorer after the sessions or the program that you opt for. Now, your program is completely properly planned basing on your level. For a grade three student, it is being planned in a certain way. For a grade six student, it's planned in a different way. For a grade 10 or eight or 12 student, it is planned in a different way. Basing on your grade, basing on your need, basing on your learning capacity, the program is being designed. And you, I promise you that you will be a better IQ scorer than the rest of your peers after the program. And all your doubts will be instantly solved. Just in a master class, I'm, I have got more than 200 to 300 queries just in learning five tricks. What if, if I'm lying with you throughout the program, learning all the tricks, all your doubts are clear. And after the live class also, I will be available to you through many other sources by connecting to our team. So you will have enough practice for every trick. It's not that all the tricks will be taught in a class or two. It's been properly designed. Addition, stage by stage, subtraction, multiplication, division, squares. We have designed it stage by stage where every trick has enough practice. This practice will be in the class in front of me and also it will be through assignments, worksheets and weekly test also. So there are many other sources of practice where you really not search for another material for practicing. We ourselves will give you enough source of material for practicing also. So and <coughs> you have a scope of relearning those by our proper videos and basic short notes also will be given where you can re uh, recapitulate your learning. And your recordings also will be available. What if, if you are not available for a particular session, you have some other exam or some other appointments. So your recordings will be available. Go through the recording. Come back to the next class if you have any queries. I'm there for you to clear your doubts. And this is the most amazing thing. The set of Vedic Maths books will be given to you, which worth 800 rupees will be given to you free of cost for practicing if you are being enrolled into the program. So here comes, ma'am, uh, over to you. Yes, thank you, Priyama. So let's see the schedule. Those, uh, this is uh, for the parents specifically. I hope uh, you also this, uh, Vedic maths tricks that Padma Priya ma'am has taught in this class. Uh, you have found them useful for your kids. And our motto is only to make them success in their life. We want as MTG team our students to have excellence and have always uh, they have a standout they always stand out among all the competitions they are facing and if they are using our resources and if they are using our help for their life and career 
So here is the schedule of this Vedic Maths class. This uh, schedule we have created as for the grade level and as for the schedule of the Vedic Math syllabus. So Vedic Math basic is for grade two and three students. It will have 10 sessions. The days are Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The time is 5 to 6 p.m. The start date is 11th of December. So this course is starting from 11th of December. Those who are interested, they can uh, share. They can. I have shared the link in the chat box. They can enroll into that or they can reach out to us if they have any query. I have shared a form also uh, in the chat box. If they have any query, they can fill out the Google form and our team will get in touch with them. So second is Vedic Maths level one, which is for class, uh, which is for class four, five, six. It has 15 sessions. The number of days are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Time is 6.15 to 7.15, and the start date is same 11th of December. The third is level two. It has more complex syllabus and more complex topics like squaring of uh, square root of number, cubes of number, converting fractions to decimal. So these, these tricks are also included in this higher level. And the days are same Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The time is same 7.30 to 8.30 and the start date is 11, 11 December 2023. The classes are three days in a week. It will have a one hour session along with the practice questions and Padma Priya ma'am will teach the core concepts. She will explain the logic behind this and she will include all these tricks and tips. I mean, she will interact with the students in the class and make them learn and grasp the concept right away. There will be enough practice after the uh, session also. We will provide assignment also after the session so student can attempt it and they have a good grasp over the concept. In the book, in the physical books, that will be delivered to your address. You will find there are practice questions which you can, which a child can attempt after the session and he will have more confidence in those questions, right? So here is this uh, price structure that we have kept. We have kept it low for our uh, for our students so earlier it was priced at uh, above 2994 for basic but we have cut down for you we have made this 40 percent discount for all the students who have been taking these classes uh, during this uh, weekend they can uh, enroll into our vedic maths classes at this price vedic maths basic vedic maths level one and vedic maths level two so they can uh, enroll into this uh, into this uh, Vedic Maths course as per their grade level. So we have structured our course that will certainly help them in achieving their goals and in getting the higher score right from after this after this course. So you can you can see the difference in the student confidence level. How confident he is whenever he is going to the market. Oh, Mama, I can solve. I mean, he can. He can, I mean, solve those, uh, how much money he has to take from the seller and how much money he has to give. So he can solve all these things mentally. So this not only increases the confidence, this also increases, they can do uh, better for their future and they can learn more and more such things so that they can, they can become a better human being and they can help others also, right? And so these techniques, not only helping them in academics, it will help them in competitions also, in any competitions where speed matters a lot. They, these students will get advantage over the speed. And in our specially curated live classes, Padma Priya ma'am is one of the teachers of our MTG Learning Media who have been specially paying attention to each and every query of the students. And she explained it in, a, in such a manner that no student can left behind, right? So I hope uh, all of you have liked this seminar. And uh, if anybody is interested in our courses of Vedic Maths live classes, they can simply enroll into this. Uh, I have shared the link in the chat box. If they have any query related to this Vedic Maths or the course, or they want to know anything about this course, they can always reach out to us through our email ID mtgonlineclass at mtg.in or our WhatsApp number, uh, which is there, double eight triple zero 
2089. I'll just share this number in the chat box also. Uh, meanwhile, if uh, anybody has any query, I'll just unmute. Uh, they can raise their hand and uh, we can answer their queries. So these are the helpline numbers that I have just shared in the chat box. If they have any query, they can reach out to us. So, uh, dear parents, if you have any query, please raise your hand so that we can unmute and take your query. Okay. So, few people have raised their hands. Yeah. So, uh, I'll go with the first one, uh, Mr. Progyan. Yes, sir. Please ask your question. I have unmuted you. Please, whoever has a query, please try to on your camera. Uh, yes, he's not able to unmute, I think. Let's uh, take another one, then we will unmute him. Uh, Mr. Uh, GVR Kartikeya, please unmute and ask your question. Please only those raise the hands who has a query, it's please a request. And who has raised the hands, please be uh, available to okay, available to unmute and speak. Okay, uh, Mr. Uh, Jui, please ask your question. Sorry if uh, Mr. or Mrs. I'm, I'm not able to see. Okay, I have allowed unmuting themselves. So please unmute yourself and ask the question if you have. 